Hello and welcome to my channel Pretty Press One Plug. My name is Adressa and for today's video I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial here how I do my money nails and what is a little bit different from my money nails and other nails that you see is I'm going to be encapsulating pink and gold foil into my nails as well. So as you can see this is just the application part when I did the encapsulation of the money and as you can see they are those pink and gold foils this is the finished product of the nails as you can see i'm going to show you a detailed tutorial of my money nails encapsulation with the foil and then i'm going to show you how i got this exact nail art so as i said before details um detailed step-by-step tutorial so just stay tuned um so when i'm first started off doing it i did go ahead and add my nails i'm just showing you guys the foils that i'm going to be using this pink one and I just thought it would be really pretty to add that one these are some gold and silver foils that I was thinking about using as well so I'm just showing you guys all of the things that I'm going to be using for today's video this is the money that I'm going to be encapsulating in my nail art today so I'm just going to take one of those bills and I just put that one aside so as you can see um, I'm just going to be going ahead and cutting up that um, that money because I want to just cut out the parts that I think that I'll be using for my nail set so I'm just cutting out all of the parts that I want to use on my nail art for today's video um, so as you can see I already have my nails on my mannequin hand on my practice hand because um, these are my XXL long straight square tips um, so I did want to go with, with the long one so I just, just added it to my mannequin hand to save a little bit of time but this is a Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder that I'm going to be using. And this is going to be basically kind of like, not kind of, this is going to be the product that I'm going to be using to apply my um, my money basically to the nails. And um, I did see that it was a little bit difficult for me to do it this way. So I did try other methods throughout this video. Um, some you will see and some may not be um, shown. But this is my Mia Secret Cover Beige acrylic powder that I'm going to be using as well. And what I did forget to do before I started this nail set was just the part that your nail bed is. I did want to put a beige right there on that part only because I wanted to have like a seamless blend. I didn't want this brown um, nail tips to show through for this nail set. So that's why I'm just going in with a light thin layer of that just to make it um, just to cover that area basically because again I did not want that um, part to be shown because I did want this to be a see-through nail as well so I didn't want that part to show yeah so just going in with a thin layer of any kind of nude acrylic that you want to I just decided to go with this um, beige acrylic so now I'm showing you guys this is the part where I'm going to begin to show you guys exactly how I um, go ahead and put my money nails encapsulation so I am going in with a thin bead of acrylic powder and being that I am using fake money for this video, the money was kind of hard to, um, it's not as thin as regular money basically, um, it's paper like so it is have a very, um, it's just a thicker texture long story short and I was making sure that I was cutting it and shaping to that nail as well as you can see I did take my scissors and cut a piece off going back in with some of that um, clear acrylic and just putting a light thin layer there and yeah just using that like I said before it is a little bit thicker so I did go ahead and ball up that um, money because I wanted to make it a little bit easier to work with so I was just making sure I was using a part that I cut out and as you can see this is the face part but I did cut it into two pieces because I didn't want um, that to be just one big piece so now I'm going with my KDS nail glue and I'm just going to be going ahead and applying that to the nail tip and just to help that money lay down because again I said that this um, nail money, this fake false nail money, it is a little bit thicker in texture because it's not real money. So it was a little bit harder for me to um, get it to stay on the nail so that's why I was using that method. But as you can see, I did go ahead and ball up a little bit more of that money just to give it some texture and so I could be able to easily shape it a little bit more. Going right back in with that Neo Secret Clear acrylic, putting a light thin layer on that nail, and then going in with my um, 
piece of money that I did cut off and just shaping it to make sure that it's, um, you know, the right shape for the nail, making sure it's not overlapping on the sides in any type of way. And throughout the video, you're going to see me going in with my KDS nail glue because some places does not stick down um, really good onto the nail. So that's why I did go in. I am going to be going in from time to time with my nail glue as well as my um, just regular clear acrylic. Now, as you can see, this is really, really easy to achieve. And for this part, I was going to be cutting this and God we trust. I wanted to cut that part inside and half, excuse me, because I did want to use these over these pieces, but it was a little bit too long to put it straight across. I do apologize. Um, I am a little bit tired, so don't mind me. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys and just do my voice over so that I could be able to upload this tomorrow so you guys have some new content here on my channel but I did want this video to do um to be more of a voice oh um, excuse me to be more of a watch me work but I do feel like it's some things that I do um need to just chime in from time to time to just say what it is that I am doing but um as far as that yeah you guys could just continue to just watch me work basically So just make sure when you are adding these to the nails that you're cutting it. I didn't want it to have like a straight um, shape to it. So that's why I was just cutting off the sides and just angling it the way that I would, um, that I wanted it to be on the nail and cutting a lot more of that um, excess money off the nail that I didn't want to be on the nail. And I was really excited to um, create today's video because this is something that I have never seen before. Um, I have seen the encapsulated nail, um, the encapsulated money nails before, and I also have seen the encapsulated money with um, some nail foils as well. But what I did not see was people use any other um, nail foil besides like gold or, no, excuse me, just besides gold. I don't believe I've seen any other color. Um, so that was, I'm just showing you guys the Mia Secret um, nailed adhesive as well. I just wanted to use that as well. I felt like it has a thicker consistency. So I felt like it would be easier for me to lay down that nail glue and for that money um, to stick to it as well. But like I was saying before, um, the way that I did the money nails, I have never seen anybody do anything on top of the nails, on top of the money nail art. Um, because it would just be just the plain money. I do like it that way. Um, there's nothing wrong with that way, but I just wanted to do some um, nail art on it. So that's why the thumbnail, as you can see, I did um, just go ahead and draw on each of my nails just to make it stand out. And I did feel um, after I did complete the set that maybe I could have done a little bit less nail art or just left a many nails plain on the nail with um, really not much nail art on it. Just so you can see the really, really, um, you can really see the money nail through it. But, you know, I am going to be creating another set of money nails here just with the plain foils and um, just the money as well. Um, for anybody that's interested in just seeing that part alone without the nail art on top of it, I will be creating a different video using that as well. So if anybody is interested in that, stay tuned for that video in the near future. But if you guys are enjoying this video so far, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I do upload my videos here weekly here on my channel, so stay tuned for your girl with her new videos. And I got way more videos for y'all to come. I am on my grind, and I've just been creating a lot more videos and just um, staying on track and staying consistent, just pushing these videos out for y'all. So, yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying every video that I do put out for you guys. So as you can see, we're almost finished with, no, we are finished with the money part of the encapsulation. And I was just showing you guys, this is the pink foil that I'm going to be using 
for today's video. Um, as you can see, this is, if you're not familiar with any type of nail foils, they are very, it's kind of hard to work with and it sticks to everything that it touches. And as you can see, I was just trying to cut it up with my scissors to make it smaller so I could have smaller sections and pieces onto my nails. So um, I did cut a little bit of that pink nail foil there onto my lid. And then go ahead with that um, clear acrylic powder. And I'm just gonna go in randomly placing my pink nail foil on top of that wet acrylic. And make sure that your beads are not too, too runny. Um, when you are applying it to the nail because you want to be able to work with this product as well as put it on top of it so it stays in place. You don't want it running around too much. As you can see, that bead was way too wet, that bead that I put there. But I did feel like it tap off the excess um, product before I did apply it to the nail. So, um, you know, I just left a little mistake in there so you guys know that, you know, we all make mistakes and I'm just showing you guys what it looks like and what you want to do or what you don't want to do, basically. So this is the bow foil that I'm going to be using for today's video as well. I just wanted to take a little bit of that and I did cut it up and take little small sections of that nail foil as well. I didn't want it to um, be too much of a foil on these nails but I did want it to be enough so that it stands out so you guys can actually see that it is foil encapsulated into these nails as well. I really had so much fun creating these nail sets and if you are familiar with my channel I know I say that with all these nail sets but I really do enjoy doing nails and nail art and just creating new things so this is really really fun for me and really really different and out of my comfort zone as well so um this is actually my first time trying these money nails so yeah I'm just really excited to um share with you guys the process how it took me um each of the steps that I took to create these nail steps yeah so I'm just going to continue to just go in with my nail foil just I'm just trying to make it pretty and I was trying to make it stand out doing the big different um, pink foil I think that came out really really pretty and made it stand out and look a little bit different a lot different from um, any other nail foil nails money nail that I have seen here um have seen period with just the money nails Yeah, so just basically I'm just repeating each of these steps and just doing the same thing for each of them. Grabbing some more of that pink coil and as you can see I'm not grabbing it with my fingers, I am grabbing it with a tweezer um, because I didn't want it to stick to the glove. I wanted all that, I wanted to um, save the product, you know, because once it sticks on something it is stuck and it's not coming off and I didn't want to waste any product on my actual glove so that's why I was trying to just put it on the nail and make it stick to the nail only on the nail just getting it on there the best way I can if anybody has any other tips and tricks on how they get their nail foil onto the nail please let me know because when it comes to me and foil foil is not my best friend but I really love how it looks the outcome of it so I do like to use foil but it's just that it just sticks to everything um let me know if you guys have a different way of applying your foil to your nails what products that you use to make it a little bit easier to just apply these to the nails basically so when you are finished going ahead and adding your foil to your nails you're going to go back in with that clear acrylic and again i'm using your secret clear acrylic and monomer as well your secret monomer and just encapsulating that whole nail as you can see that whole nail is being encapsulated that money and those foils are being encapsulated and it's really really turned off for me. I was really really loving this set. I had so much fun creating this set even though this set took me actually a couple of hours to complete. I know it doesn't seem like it because you know this is edited and it is set up to you know all the parts that you really really need and all important. I did include everything as well just um it did take me a couple of hours to create this set. Um I think it took about maybe two hours to complete this set because no 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 I think it was about maybe two and a half hours because you, it's just so many steps that you have to take to just create this nail set but yeah but nonetheless I did have fun creating it and I just hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to share this video as well um yeah and become a part of this channel by just subscribing 
to stay in tune for more. Don't forget to encapsulate those nails. This is what makes this nails encapsulated when you apply that clear acrylic on top of any nail art that you do on that nail, basically. And if anybody has any questions or comments about how I created these nails or anything that I have used in this video, then, um, you know, leave it down in the comment section. I answer all of my comments, all of the questions, all of the likes, all of everything. Anything that you guys have to say down in that comment section, best believe I am right there. I'm liking and I am commenting as well. And I'm responding to everybody as well. So I am very um, on point when it comes to just responding to anybody that has a message here. Or if it's just a comment here, I respond to those too, you know, as well as like. Because I like when you guys interact, it lets me know that you guys are watching. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. You guys like the content that I put out. These nail art videos, these nail designs that you guys are really feeling it. So that is why I really, really love interacting with you guys. And I would like to do, I know my channel doesn't have that many followers here but I would like to do a um a some type of giveaway for my um subscribers that are here I know we we you know we getting up there with the numbers but we ain't that far but you know I'm grateful for every subscriber that I have here on my channel I'm grateful for the new ones and the you know the old jeans the people that have been here for a little bit while this channel has not been up for that long but again I am grateful for everyone who tunes into my videos everyone who comments likes um, subscribe everyone who you know just interacts with me here so these are the three gel polishes that I'm going to be using these are Beatles gel polish and they are they are gel polish because you hear it again white back and this hot pink that I'm going to be using for this set today very affordable nail polish for anybody that's curious what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go ahead and just put some of each color that like black white and pink gel polish onto my nail palette and these are the colors that I'm going to be using to create my nail art drawn on these nails um so yeah I'm just showing you guys that it's much easier to put it on the nail palette much easier to um you know to use rather than going into the battle each time that you do some nail art so um I am going to show you guys a sped up clip of me just reshaping my nails you know because when you do any type of acrylic um, you want to make sure that you still have that nice, straight, crisp, straight, um, excuse me, shape to your nails. So, you know, sometimes it often gets lost in the application process. Um, you know, some product may spill over to the edges or over to the bottom. Just make sure you're just reshaping that nail, making sure it's nice and crisp. That's what I like to do. And I'm just going in with my 100 file. 100 grit file. I really love using this um, nail file. This nail file is from Canna. If anybody is curious on um, the name brand of this nail file, really great brand, really great um, nail files. I use these um, and mostly, excuse me, not mostly, I use these nail files in all of my videos because I just really love them so much and they just get that real crisp shape. I know I said that crisp shape about a thousand times, but yeah, I just like how. It gets those nails really, really straight. So now I'm going in with my McCart nail drill. Really, really love this drill as well. And I'm just going to be shaping that nail, making sure my application, my acrylic application is nice and smooth, making sure there are no lumps, no bumps on top of my nail, making sure that product is smoothed out, taking some of the bulk of that nail, um, acrylic nail polish, excuse me, nail acrylic down as well using this nail drill my nail drill is not that high i know it may not look like i'm taking up too much as you can see that nail did pop off so that's why i do like to hold down that um nail tip while i am doing my fouling because it does pop off sometimes because it's not a real you know nail tip it's just me and my practice hand and that's why i love using the practice hand because again you get to practice and yeah you get uh, a lot better at your craft when you do a lot of practicing. So don't worry about the money, um, like the pieces of money or the little bit of foil um, that flies off as well because you have so much encapsulated into that nail that's not gonna make or break this set. And just make sure everything is nice and smooth. I was just showing you guys how crispy that set came out after my fouling. And I'm just taking my fine liner brush 
and I'm just going to be using this liner brush to create my nail art and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating that pink face mask onto my nail but of course I'm just going to be going in steps and going in layers and what I mean, what I mean by that is uh, I'm going to do the pink outline of my face mask first and after that is cured and then I am going to go back and to continue to um, complete the rest of the nail art for this um, fingernail and the remaining nails as well and because this has to be cured in the lamp for 60 seconds before you can go ahead and do any more nail art I just like to fill it in with that brush directly from the nail bottle polish bottle it's just much easier and faster to just fill it in and I did want to do some nice drips on the nails so being that this is money um, encapsulated money on my nails I just wanted to do like a little bank robber that's what I was thinking of when I did the mask and I did put a nail charm on one of the nails as well a gun and for another nail I am going to be drawing a money bag this reminds me of just like robbers because it's money and you know people rob the bank and you know you, you get my dress you know where I'm coming from and what my inspiration for this set was again I wanted to do a nice money set but I did want my money set to stand out a little bit more um, not maybe stand out a little bit more but just be different and not look um, exactly the same as any other nail form nail um, money nails that you guys have seen so I was just really really proud of this nail set just me being creative and just creating something um, you know different and something I enjoy you know I like doing different things on my channel because you don't want to think, do things everybody else does because it becomes repetitive I just like to dig in my creative bag and just do things that I'm interested in and yeah just showing you guys the step-by-step -step, um, video how I got these sets so yeah I did feel like it was a little bit plain on top of that now so I am gonna go ahead with these black drips because I did want to incorporate all of the colors onto each of my nails to make sure there's a little bit of black pink and white on each of the nails so that the whole set pulls together just make sure in between when you are doing your nail art make sure you are curing in between the layers of the nails and what I mean by that um, not layers of the nail but layers of the gel polish art design that's what I mean so I'm just using my guiding tool and I'm just going to be creating um, I was trying to create like a money bag and I was thinking of what is the easiest way that I could try to draw a money bag and this is what I came up with y'all so <laughs> uh, but it came out cute in the end I was like if I could just get the shape of you know of it then people would know what it is and yeah I'm getting somewhere <laughs> but yeah so this is how I did the outline for my money bag for um yeah this now and like i said i did want to incorporate um each of the colors on each of the nails so i am going in and get a little bit of that pink and um i did do the strips on top of all of these nails as well uh i believe yeah i did i did there's different colors on the top of each nail depending on what color um nail art i did on the nail i would do the opposite color with the nail drips basically so now with this one I'm going to be going in with that white gel polish on that same dot and tool and it's just so much easier it's so much easier for me to create my um, nail drips with this method so that's why I'm just doing it this way um, I mean you can do the drips another way as far as just drawing it out um, but for me this is just the easy way for me to create it I felt like it could have been a little bit more neater but it was just that this nail set <laughs> just took so long to create and I wanted you guys to see um, the whole process so I did include it like I said but it was just so long for just doing the encapsulation with the money and the nail um, foils as well so I was just ready for this video to be over <laughs> but also just include everything this is my McCart rhinestone glue and I'm just using that um, I really like this McCart rhinestone glue because it keeps your um, nail charms in place. 
Uh, I never had any issues with my rhinestones or any type of nail charms coming off when I use this product. So just make sure you put a generous, generous excuse me, amount of that nail glue onto that nail and cure it in your lamp for 60 seconds. Don't forget to cure everything in your lamp, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I'm just gonna put 60 on that. Let it cure, let it and let that gel polish dry as well and cure into place. You know, we're in YouTube world, so everything is sped up. So now we're going in with that dotting tool and I was just trying to draw a dollar sign, a white dollar sign on this um, money bag. And I did go in with the white, of course, because, you know, it's a bright color and it would stand out on that, um, on that nail, basically. And I am going ahead and outlining that money bag as well, just so it can stand out a lot more. So it's more prominent and more noticeable what it is supposed to be. So that's why I was just going ahead and outlining everything that I drew on my nails. Yeah. Just creating that shape, make sure it has that shape. And then for this mask now, it's gonna be going in and drawing a mouth. Simple, easy peasy. Y'all saw that? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Y'all saw how fast that was, right? Yeah, so easy to create. Um, don't be overthinking it when you are doing any type of nail art because as long as you can get that shape right, and find a way to do an easy way but also make it noticeable what you are trying to draw then it doesn't matter you don't have to be a, a, a nail artist or an artist at all or really know how to draw to create any type of nail sets because yeah it's just so easy you know i was just trying to put my little dollar signs these lines going on that money bag right here as you can see I felt like this nail, even though it was not plain, I did not incorporate any of that black and pink onto this nail. So I just wanted to go ahead and just do an outline of the side of these nails, just the very edge of these nails, just to give it a little bit of color and just incorporate those other colors, excuse me, that I have not um, drawn on these nails with. So yeah. So if you did get so this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys think of this set down in the comment section below. And also, like I said before, you know, if you love what you see here, if you enjoyed this content and you enjoyed my videos, um, hit that bell notification. You know, it's free. You ain't got to pay. Everything is free here <laughs> as far as just um, like commenting and sharing my video and also you know whenever i upload i know you guys want to see more videos to come so you know just stay tuned for a lot more content a lot more videos and nail art nail designs and i wanted to try some different nail shapes as well so yeah stay tuned for a lot more to come so yeah so basically this is going to be Pretty much the ending of this video just me drawing my nail art and just finishing my money nails so that concludes the video and why don't you guys go ahead and check out some of my other videos that i have posted on my channel um some more nail art designs and everything like that also connect with me on my other social media platforms Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. It's pretty underscore press on underscore plug on all social media platforms. Stay tuned for more. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.